These are gooseberries. They're growing in a three gallon pot. This is their third year they've been in here. They are thriving in this pot, as you can see from all of the berries. So whenever people tell you that you can't grow in berries in small spaces, show them this video. These are actually doing better than the two that I planted in the ground. And they've been sitting here in these three gallon pots for three years now. And they always consistently do better. They grow quicker, they produce more berries. They are also right next to a white pine tree that all over the internet says you shouldn't plant gooseberries next to pine trees because there's some sort of disease. That was actually part of the reason why I left them here. It was kind of like my experiment to see what happened. Also next to it, I have an American uh, filbert, American hazelnut. And uh, it's doing really well too. Now I have to admit, originally these were going to be planted in the yard. And just when I got cancer, everything kind of got put on the back burner. They still haven't gotten planted yet. <laughs> and there's, truthfully, there's a whole, a whole row of plants down through here that's that way. Um, some Chinese chestnuts, some more hazelnuts. One, two, three, four more grapevines. I'll get to them eventually. They're just, they've taken a back seat to everything. So the other thing about um, gooseberries, while I'm sitting here talking though, you can see that this pan, it, or this pot, three gallon pot, it's not even really that full. Now what I do is I put leaves, a lot of times I use straw in the raised beds, but in pots I use just a big thick layer of leaves that I basically get off my patio. Um, I got some really big oaks near the patio. I haven't had time to clean the patio up yet this, this spring, so they're still here. But I will take in the fall when those are falling on the ground, I fill these pots up with, you know, an inch or two of leaves and that keeps them moist in between rains and I don't have to water them that much. And then the leaves that are left over, I take and scoop up and put on the compost pile eventually, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. They're literally everywhere on my patio. It's, patio's in pretty sad shape. As you can see, I do the same thing on my figs. Same thing on my... Uh, uh, key lime, same thing on my lemon. They all they all do well this way. I even do my bananas the same way. So potted plants get decaying leaves. Raised beds generally get straw. And that's just kind of being frugal. And straw doesn't really do very well in small raised pots just because of the length of it. So I've just always used leaves and it works well. Anyways, if you got a little bit of patio space, I would recommend you get some gooseberries. They're pretty good. They, uh, I don't really know what to describe them as. The berries get to be about the size of a grape. They're kind of still small now. You can kind of see some of them are getting to be bigger, but some of them are still pretty small. Like those two right there, you can see that one's small one's big uh, these right here are really small but um yeah they're really good they're they're not exactly like a grape but um they're kind of similar to a grape so you just have to find somebody that sells them and try them or find someone that has some and try them um one thing is online you'll have people tell you that you need to wear gloves 
to harvest them. They do get thorns. Um, I've, I've never wore gloves. I don't wear gloves when I pick blackberries. Why should I wear gloves when I'm going to pick these? You just got to be careful. I wouldn't want to run through a gooseberry patch, but picking the berries is not a big deal. As you can see, they stick away from the stem. Well, easy enough for you to tell where they're at without getting stuck. But hope you enjoy this video on gooseberries. Again, if you have any kind of patio space, gooseberries would be a good one to grow. Um, the bushel and berry, raspberry shortcake, I grow those. I grow them in the ground, but those are actually made for pots. Um, there, there's just a, a lot of berries that you can grow in small spaces and gooseberries are obviously one of them and and there's pretty much all the bushel and berry stuff will grow in pots so you can raise quite a bit of food just on your patio or porch and that's just kind of the ways you can take advantage of all the space you've got you can do vertical gardening like i've i've considered numerous times um this wall right here goes up to my kitchen but this is a pretty big space here that's just open. And I've thought numerous times of doing vertical gardening. I keep some uh, large dog cages here that I use to transport the goats. And sometimes I raise baby chicks in them. But those need really need move somewhere else. They're just, they've just been sitting here ever since I got cancer, really. Still got a gate over there to install that I bought two years ago. Man, it's like I have so much stuff to do, I don't even know where to start some days. So uh, what I try to do, though, is I just try to do a little bit more each week without getting overwhelmed because that's what I did last year about this time. I was trying to keep up with the garden, trying to keep up with the bees, trying to keep up with all the animals, and it was just overwhelming. So this year, I didn't even put out a garden. I got rid of most of the animals. This year I've just been trying to focus on the fruit trees and the bees and um, getting the garden ready for next year without having to worry about like a planting timeline and planting seeds timeline and all that stuff. We'll eventually get there, just not going to be this year. Um, I also started working out again. Um, literally... As soon as the cancer treatment ended, I started to work out. And, you know, I'm an all or nothing kind of guy, so I either give 150% or I give 0%. There is no in between. So that's kind of been like one of the hardest things for me to learn is you don't have to go all out on everything. And, uh, anyway, so when I first, the cancer treatment was first over, I gave it my all for about six weeks and then i just crashed like i i was just not eating enough calories to support workouts like that it, it didn't take very long might only been four weeks but anyways after that happened i actually got really sick for a couple months after that because i was just i beat beat my body up and it it, it was really a major step backwards so what I've been doing is I decided then that I wasn't, I wasn't going to try to work out until I knew I was confident I could eat enough calories to support a workout. So basically every six months I've been trying again, but I keep a really close eye on my weight. And even though I kind of like ease into my workouts, um, you know, if you're not eating enough calories, it don't take but about two or three weeks to know whether or not you can keep going or not. So every time that I've tried since then, except for this time, now I'm actually about three weeks into it. So I I got a little bit of weight increase, but it could drop, you know, next week because that's usually kind of the way it goes when you are trying to work out and lose weight. What happens is. You'll lose, lose, lose like a bunch at the beginning. And then it kind of like seems like it flattens out. 
and that's because generally you're starting to put on some muscle and muscle weighs actually more volume wise than what fat does so you can lose a whole lot of fat and if you gain just a little bit of muscle that'll cancel each other out so um I just have to be really careful um, because I can gain a little bit of weight and then lose a whole bunch in just a short period of time. So that's kind of like everything that's been going on. I got totally off topic. Hope you enjoyed the gooseberries and I will be glad when they are big enough for me to eat. There are all kinds of things you can make recipes with gooseberries. You can just look them up, but I just prefer them right off of the plant. They never make it into the house. Very seldom. I would actually like to try to make some gooseberry jam though. Hmm. Just have to wait and see. Anyways, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.